Read it again. Read it. Wait. Bubba, read it. Oh, mommy, read it. Can you read me the book? No, I already read it on the book. That's the face. Say good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh. What are you watching? Is it not the book? Say good morning. Good morning guys. So it is Friday morning and it's the next day that the babysitter is coming. Um, she came on Wednesday and that was the first video I posted about the nanny cam. So today we're going to see. What I've decided to do, if you see behind me, back there are their iPads. And I have left them out, I've left them charging, but they're not where the kids are going to just see them and want to grab them. And I'm going to tell her that, you know, they're not be on the iPads until at least after lunch because you know I thought about just hiding them all together but part of me really wants to see what she's going to do when we're not here and if she's going to listen to what I say or if she's going to just do whatever she wants and put them on the iPads. So I've decided to do that instead of hiding them or putting them away I am going to tell her that they're not to be on the iPads this morning so we'll see. Um, I mean, not that I'm trying to like trap her or anything, but I just want to see if she listens to what I say or if she has no regard for what I tell her. So we'll see. Fingers crossed. I really like her and I really hope it works out. So I'm really, fingers crossed that she does not get them on their iPads. And I've got him in there. He's playing. He's got a snack. She is still sleeping. So yeah, I'm nervous. She should be here any minute now. So we'll see how it goes. Are you playing with your trains? Is Hannah going to come play trains with you? Yeah? You got to tell her you want to play. Look at this disaster, you guys. I've got to find a better way to organize all this, but this is this room is a mess. Yeah, the train goes in the tunnel. She just got here, but both kids are awake. And McLean, of course, just ran out of the playroom. But they're in the playroom playing. So we'll see how it goes. Susie, you gonna play? Oh, shirt's falling off. Okay, so I just left the house and I told her that the iPads were in the kitchen charging, but they were not to get them, that they had lost them until after lunch. So we'll see, I'm about to get on. And I left it there in the playroom. She was sitting there playing with them at the train table. So, and I'm hoping I'm trying to be positive. I really hope that it was just an off day the other day. It was rainy, gloomy. Um, you know, I'm just hoping that it works out and that she doesn't put them straight on the iPads today. Okay, so far, so good. They are still in the playroom. She's actually turned some of their music on and they are singing and doing the hand motions to some nursery rhymes. So, okay, we're off to a good start. She didn't just run and jump on the sofa. So I was headed to my office, but I decided to run by a friend's yard sale first. Um, that's kind of, it's not really close to my office, but it's in the same town. So it's like 10 minutes away. So I'm going to run over there, but um, the babysitter has texted me. She was asking about a stroller, which unfortunately I have the stroller in my car, so they can't take that. Um, but then she was asking about shoes, so they're going to go outside and play, which is great. I. Uh, you know, she hasn't even turned the TV on, hasn't gotten the iPad, so we're doing good so far with that. So hopefully they'll go outside and play, and that'll keep them entertained. And then, it makes me so sad, I just got a text, we were supposed to have a visit with Hudson's birth mom on Sunday. And she texts me that she can't do it. And this is the second time that we've planned a visit recently that she was not able to come. Uh, the last one was on Sunday of Memorial Day weekend. We were supposed to get together, and she had to cancel like an hour beforehand, and now um, we're supposed to meet Sunday, and she said she got called into work. So she's had a valid excuse both times, so I don't think she's, you know, like making it up or, you know, doesn't want to meet, but it's just sad. Luckily, I didn't tell Hudson about it, um, you know, definite answers. We started talking about his birth mom before visits, but never like really got his hopes up, and he's not old enough yet to understand um, if I say we're going Sunday and then we don't go on a Sunday, he doesn't understand that, but 
So it just makes me sad, and I hope it's not, you know, we haven't seen her. It's July 9th today, and we haven't seen her since his birthday visit, like the middle of December. So this is the longest we've gone without seeing her, and so I don't know if, you know, we're just getting to that point where we go longer times, um, or what, but kind of sad so two visits and because that was the end of May and now the beginning of July we're supposed to have one so hopefully we'll reschedule it for the next weekend but I will definitely keep you guys posted okay so I just got home and the kids are both asleep we're much better today I checked a couple times I didn't really vlog because I was at my office and um, there were a bunch of people around I was busy but I did check in she did let them have their iPads for a little bit but not like the other day, they played, they went outside, she even sent me some pictures, um, and then they both went down for a nap. They were kind of grumpy, so she said she went and, or she told me they were grumpy, so I told her she could try to lay them down. So they both laid down, they're both sleeping right now. Um, she cleaned the living room, she cleaned the playroom up, all the toys she picked up and put away. So today was much better um, than Wednesday. So I'm hoping that Wednesday was just a fluke, just kind of a rainy, gloomy day do nothing kind of fluke so I'm I'm back to being happy now so we will continue I will you know see how next week goes and we'll go from there but today I'm very happy look at how nice she left the playroom there is one little thing right down there but she put all of the toys and books that were just all over here if you remember this morning it was a disaster and all the little bins are up there I've got, I got some new bins because I didn't really like the ones that it came with. So I got some new ones at Walmart. So I need to figure out a better organization for it. But I have, oh, I'm going to wake the kids up, trip it on their toys. But very impressed. Okay, I'm here in our room and I'm doing a little bit of cleaning and straightening up. Um, I really want the house to be nice and clean today because Chase has had kind of a rough day. So when he gets home later tonight, I want the house to look nice because he loves to come home to a clean house. So I'm um, not sure what time he's going to be home. He's called in to work and he will have to work kind of. It's one of those things. He doesn't know when he's getting off. So he's having to miss, you know, not only has it been a rough day, but he's having to miss a birthday dinner for our friend that he actually planned and put together. Uh, and now he's not going to be able to go. So just been one of those days. So I just want to make sure that the house is nice and clean and looks good for when he gets home. And I thought I'd show you guys. <laughs> so obviously the drawers are missing, but this is the chest of drawers that we got. And it's got some styrofoam stuck on it. There we go. Uh, that we ordered it matches our bed it's the same they're from Target it's the same um, what do you call it like I don't know same finish same like not family of furniture but you know it's a set so we started to put it together last night and it was a pain a pain to put together so much harder than the Ikea furniture. So it was like 10 o'clock and we hadn't done the drawers yet. So we just went ahead and called it a night and put the TV on it. Brought it in here. So we will finish up the drawers um, maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow, depending on how things go. But I love it. We're finally getting our room. We've got all the furniture. We just have to get this put together. We have to get the drawers put together for this. And then this cube unit will be gone. I might be putting it in the playroom. I haven't decided. And then, excuse the, the laundry that needs to be put away. Um, this dresser, which this, you know, typical guy, his clothes hanging out of the drawers. The top drawers, this one right there, and this top long drawer are Chase's. Three of four have clothes hanging out of them. <laughs> Drives me crazy. But we're getting rid of this. Uh, it matches the old bed that we had. So we're going to put our new dresser there, which we have. We just have to put together, which hopefully this weekend we can get that put together and get that out of here and get this out of here. And then our room will really be put together the way it's meant to be. So I was just watching some videos. I love, I don't know about you guys, but I love to watch the videos of people cleaning their cleaning routines or just the speed cleaning. It, I don't know. It just motivates me and makes me want to get up and do some cleaning. So I'd love to know, if y'all are interested in those kind of videos, give this one a thumbs up, and that way I will um, maybe make one of those videos.